All right. Can you get your shit out of me? God, for me, that's a lot. Okay. All right, what's going on, everyone? It's Evan and Megan again, and welcome back to Two Up Travels. So, gosh, where to begin? We went to Costa Rica. We, that's actually a great place to begin. We went to Costa Rica. And today we're gonna tell you about it, so. <laughs> I wrote some blog posts about the border crossings. You can check it out in the description below. It was a beautiful ride. Yeah. As you can see, the closer we got to Lake Arenal, uh, which is where we we're going because my uncle lives there. Uncle lives in Lake Thanks, Arenal. Uncle Mike. When the rest of Costa Rica is pretty hot, and then you get into the Lake Arenal region and you kind of like start to approach this like, sorry, there's a truck outside right now. It literally started to do this. Maybe you can hear that, maybe you can't. We're just gonna talk over it. It's great. <laughs> it wasn't there like five minutes ago and then we started doing this. As soon as you get to Lake Nero and all it cools down, it gets really rainy. Yeah, it's like rainforesty. Yeah, so we hit a bunch of rain riding in. Yeah, it was like hot, like 95 degrees, and we could see a wall of rain in our future. And we were like, we should probably put our rain gear on. And then we got to my uncle's house and we've noticed that we do this thing, like when we get to someone's house uh, that we're comfortable in, like family members or something while we're traveling, we just kind of die for a couple of days. Yeah. Because we're constantly in unfamiliar places and then once we get somewhere where it's like your uncle that sets you up for a week, you're like, cool, I could just like do nothing. I don't have to think about where I'm going or anything. Mm -hmm. So we kind of, our time in Costa Rica was a little interesting. Not really what most people do in Costa Rica, uh, but it was still really nice and beautiful, but we just kind of hung out at his house a lot. For the first couple days, we hung out. It's really pretty there at the house. I'll throw in some footage of that. And there's lots of animals that are just around in that area. That's the cool thing about Costa Rica is it definitely has a lot of animals everywhere. Toucans, parrots, I mean, Everything. We did though, once we decided to get back out, took a ride over to Rio Celeste, which is like this hike, kind of like, I don't know, like nature reserve, if you'd call it that. Mm -hmm. um, the ride there was stunning. Um, you had a lot of fun with it too. Yeah. The, the ride? Yeah. Yeah. The, the road was just so much fun. Being on like a ADV style bike and then not having all the gear on it, just Megan and I, uh, the bike was so much more like loose and free. And so we could kind of like rip over certain things and it's like go up and down and it was just, I mean, a blast. And personally, I think some of my favorite stuff we did in Costa Rica was just ride around because it's so it's pretty. So pretty. Yeah. yeah. So then the hike itself was, it was really fun. It was like this blue water waterfall and lots of animals there too. Mm -hmm. We made it into the jungle. Dun, 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 dun. We're on the mission for slots. And slots. Who cans? No snakes. Maybe snakes. No spiders. <laughs> Megan, I'm trying to get a good shot. We don't know why, but it stinks. It smells like sulfur and like canned tuna 
and some other unidentifiable smells. I think it is sulfur. Look at this bubbling, dude. Oh. Look at that. Well, I think, is this a natural spring? Maybe. Sauce. Suspension bridge. Ooh. And so it appears we have made it to the end of the trail where there's just some really pretty water behind us. And we know it's the end of the trail because of Evan's dance. There's a sign. <laughs> end of the trail. Is that your end of the trail dance? Ooh. Yeah. End of the trail. It is pretty and there are lots of animals. We saw lots of animals. It was worth it. I liked it a lot. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't too long so you know we could go in the afternoon and then be back before sunset, mm -hmm. which was really nice. What else did we do? Well, we went to the hot springs. All right, so we rode the motorcycle out there. It was about an hour ride. So then we like walk up and we're trying to figure out where we want to go, where we want to, what we want to do. And then we hear someone calling Evan's name. We're like, what? Yeah. We don't know anyone here. Yeah. But we did, and I forget her name already. Raina. Raina. We met Raina. From Australia. From Australia, we met her in Ometepe. So that was cool. So we hung out with her and her friends in the hot springs for a while, and yeah, it was safe to leave your stuff on the shore. Yeah. You can bring whatever you want. Yeah, it was cool, it was nice, it was very nice. Yeah, we liked it a lot. Right, well, this was unexpected. But Megan and I got here. We just came down this road. And now here we are at the beach. And as you can see, there's like nobody here. This is not what we were expecting at all. No, we were expecting lots to have of tourists. lots of tourists or having to pay a fee or something, but no, so far, none of that, which is pretty sick. So. It's very pretty. Here, I'll show you really quick. And it's hot. It's like 97 degrees. So we've gone up 27 degrees since Lake Arenal. Take a look. I think we're going to go for a dip. So it looks like these are all different like areas you can park or maybe camp. I don't know. It's pretty neat. All right, Megan, you going to go get you going to get in the water? Get in the water? But my sunscreen has to soak in. Yeah, I guess you're right. It's a good idea. I'm gonna go test it out. Yeah, test it out. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Hot, 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 hot. Oh, that's better. Oh. That's kind of fun. Huh. All right, well, here we are. Here I am, I mean. Uh, water's warm, very warm. Seems pretty clean, I think. I don't know. It's kind of brackish, I think is the word. You know, kind of like, you can see it, murky. It's not cool over there. I have soft feet, making on it both, so standing on rocks. Oh God, it's hot, oh my God. That was a mistake. Not going over there. Nope. Anyway, yeah, soft feet. Not tough. <laughs> Wasn't very good. <laughs> that was great. Thank you. Thank you. Costa Rica is great and it's got a lot of really cool things about it, but it is wildly, wildly expensive. So we were looking at doing different hikes, but here's the thing. So like you would have like a hike here. It's like a one mile hike on like a suspension bridge and then two miles down the road, you've got a two mile hike around like this little base of a volcano and then there's like a restaurant in there, like whatever. But in most places you have to pay to park, which is like four or five dollars. And then it's like 23 to $30 per person per person to get into a place. For like a two mile hike. For like a two mile hike. And so you're gonna spend a couple hundred dollars over the course of a couple days just to do little hikes. And it's not guaranteeing that you're gonna see any animals. You know, it's not guaranteed. It's, there's all these You'll different things. You'll probably get rained on. And so it we got we were very frustrated I was <laughs> with salty. the area <laughs> I was salty about it yeah. yeah so we didn't do a whole lot of those things because we were just like no like why would we pay that much money it's ridiculous so for us since we have traveled through all of Central America now Costa Rica 
is just a super, super different vibe. So if you are someone who wants to travel, but maybe doesn't like the grungy, dirty, kind of off the cuff stuff that most of Central America is like, oh, Costa Rica yeah. might be for you. It's yeah. just a little bit more touristy. If you've never traveled out of the country before, Costa Rica might be a good place to start. For us though, who like the rest of the cheap, dirty, just authentic Central America vibe, Costa Rica was not that at all. Yeah. So while it is really pretty and awesome, and some people might like that, for our style of travel, Costa Rica was not not that for us. It wasn't, and we could have done better about getting out and like seeing different places because yeah. we realized that after we left Lake Arenal, the first place that we went to was like a coastal town. I forget the name of it. Capos. Uh, Capos. Still pretty touristy, but also like less expensive. Mm -hmm. And the Lake Arenal region is definitely more expensive, but Capos was less expensive. We stayed in an Airbnb just outside of town. We had really good conversations with people around there. Got a chance to like really interact with some locals, which yeah. was super cool. Costa Ricans are super friendly. So nice. Uh, so nothing against Costa Ricans. They're wonderful. So that was really nice. And then again, after that, we were on our we way went, to the border. Yeah, we stopped at one more place. Um, we went to Golfito. Golfito, which was also super cool. It was like a little fishing village right on the Gulf getting yeah. to the Pacific Ocean. Good food, mm -hmm. friendly people. It was warm. Uh, Super gorgeous out there. Again, just like way more laid back. So like, you know, you can get a nice big meal for like $8, which is great. You know, that's that's act, that's reasonable. And there was a lot of Costa Rica that I think we missed, obviously, but I think a lot of Costa Rica, you know, it's, uh, again, like a lot of people go there and there's a lot of expats who live there. So, you know, just depends on your vibe. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, if we were gonna go to Costa Rica again, I think we'd do it differently just because. Yeah. You know. I think we were just a little shocked at the price of things and we were a little salty about it. Yeah. We had a nice free place to stay at my uncle's. We were just like, ah, we're just gonna stay here. But I do think yeah. we would have done it differently if we had that more foresight. Totally. <laughs> that's okay. That's just learning travel. Yeah. But that was more or less what Costa Rica was for us. Um, I also got super sick. Today's actually the first day that I'm feeling somewhat normal. Uh, I ate some bad food that we cooked. Funny enough, I think it was like a sausage or a hot dog or something. And I was like, I'm not gonna go into the details, but I was sick. It like was like four or five days of just like out for the count. Yeah, and I need to start taking antibiotics. So today's the final day of my antibiotics and I'm finally feeling good. And then we made it to Panama. Yeah, it was great. Here we are. And here we are. And yeah, the ride into Panama was dull. Um, we didn't really see anything. Uh, in the comments below, you'll see uh, border crossing information for Nicaragua to Costa Rica and Costa Rica to Panama. All the resources there on our website and things. Well, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please consider smashing that subscribe button. Smash, there you go. <laughs> Took me a second. Yeah, no, totally. So you can uh, support us and see, our, see our future travels. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it. All right, cool. Well, thanks for tuning in, everyone. We look forward to seeing you in the next video. Much love. Bye. Peace.